I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We are discussing application questions based on related rates. Here is question number 10 from my worksheet. Two cars are moving at constant speed of 60 km per hour along straight roads inclined at 45 degrees from their starting point. Find the rate at which they are separated. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So let's try to sketch the scenario and understand the position. So there are from this point, let's say there are two cars. One is moving in this direction, the other one 45 degrees. Right? Now they are moving at the same speed. So with time, they'll cover the same distance. So let's say one car reaches here at any instance of time. The other car will also reach as far but on the horizontally going road. So that is the position X. What we are interested in finding out is what is their separation? What is the distance between them at any instance of time? And how is this distance changing? Correct. We know that the angle is 45 degrees between the two roads. So basically, we have an isosceles triangle, as you can see, right? So in this particular triangle, uh, we have one angle is 45 degrees, and that is the situation. Perfect. So you can actually now use a bit of trigonometry and then solve this question. Now a good reminder here is that in trigonometry, when you are trying to solve a triangle where two sides and an angle is given, the situation is SAS, right? In that case, you use cosine law, perfect? So we are going to use the cosine law to find D. So distance D will be equal to, they are related as D square equals to, in this case, X square plus X square minus 2 times these times cos of the angle in between, right? So that is straight from cosine law, perfect. So that is how D will be related with that distance. Right? So in our case, we get D square equals to 2 times X square minus 2X square and cos 45 is 1 over square root 2. So, so you could write this as d square equals to 2 times x square minus square root 2 x square. Or we know d is square root of all this. So x square is common. So we can write this as 2 minus square root of 2 x square square root is x. Is that clear to you? So that is how d is related, the separation between uh, the cars is related with distance they have moved, right? Correct? Now we are saying two cars are moving at a constant speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So that really means that change in distance dx dt is 60 kilometers per hour. Clear? So we know the change in distance. And we need to find the rate at which they are being separated. So we really find d distance d which we took here over dt, right? This is what we need to find, a general expression. Is that clear to you, right? So that is the question for us. Okay. So now we know the relation. So let's find derivatives. So d is equal to 2 minus square root of 2 times x. So if I differentiate with respect to time, so d dx, d dt of this d, right, of this d, which is separate, right, this d, separation, is equal to, that is a constant, so we'll have this constant very much there, right, and this will be x derivative is 1 dx dt. So we get our relation, perfect. So at any instance of time, that is how they are related. And dx dt is 60 for us. So we can say, so the separation d, right, this distance change between the two cars is square root of 2 minus square root of 2. dx dt in our case is 60. 
and the units will be kilometers per hour. Is that clear to you? So that is how we'll actually solve this question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. You can use the calculator to write approximate value. However, this is the required solution. Now, sometimes we can always uh, change the speed of these cars. We can say twice as fast, then these parameters will accordingly change and you can solve such a question also, right? So let me make a variation here, question number 10B. So if say car one is going at, um, let's say x, uh, let's say velocity v kilometers per hour and car two is twice kilometers per hour, find rate of change of separation. So try this question, is it okay? So find rate of change of separation. Okay, I hope you have understood the concept. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. You can actually look into other related worksheets. Uh, they should really definitely help you. Thanks for your time and all the best.